Hey guys, you're watching you're one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Zonocraft Season 3. Now, we're going to be doing a train today. That's why we're back eventually at the, uh, the what do you call it, Western Village, uh, the Mesa Village here. Uh, because eventually we're going to actually get started on this train that I've been wanting to do pretty much since the series started. <laughs> And I keep mentioning it, but I didn't have the wool. I've now got the wool. Instead of green, I've decided to do it in grey because I think it might look a little bit more western-like. I think green looks a little bit more um, like passenger type, and I want this to be like a coal train. So uh, I think grey will be better, and i got some black for the wheels as well. That took for ages. But before we get cracking on that, I've got some bad news. Some very bad news. I've been wandering around the, this village now for... A, few minutes and uh, I can't find any of the villagers we we bought two down here if you remember episodes ago quite a while ago we bought two villagers down here to test if it was safe for them now yes we had a couple of catastrophes with the whole um, uh, clock tower burning down and this post office burning down and it looks like we, we, we did we put doors on these in the end because I'm sure at one point we had gates on these. But then I thought we removed the gates for doors. And there's a couple of options that could have happened. Number one is where we got the villagers in. I forgot to remove the cobblestone. Which means mobs like zombies could have got in. The other option <laughs> is a stupid one. Is that the... Um, mine is open, the, the the new, or the old, sorry, strip mine. And they could have easily gone wandering down there. And I don't think down there is completely lit up and safe for them anyway. And if they went down there, they would never come back up, ever. So, that means that I've got to get some more villagers over here. But, uh, they survived quite a while. They did survive quite a while. I think if we block that up... And we take that away. I think we might be safe again. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway. We shall pray for their souls. And how come I have no buttons on those? I thought I was meant to have buttons on the side of these colour ones. Hmm. And uh, maybe we'll have to build a, a church soon with a graveyard for the two missing villagers. God bless their souls. So we've got the rail here though. Let's move on to more, <laughs> more happier things. Let's do some building. Uh, we've got this rail here. And at the moment, the rail just goes from there where the, the bumpers are. And it curls around to the right to where we want to build like a fake cave entrance. like for the Or the, a fake train tunnel. I think what I also want to do now is continue this track on here. Also keep the curve, but also have it sort of continue on that way. Sort of maybe uh, curve and go past the castle. And then maybe even make a bridge over the river that goes towards our base. That would be really cool. But that is a lot of work. So we'll have to see how it goes. Let's start with the train though. In this chest here I've got what I hope to be enough resources. I've got some grey. I've got some black. There's not that much black because I only had a couple of um, sheep. Or a couple of black sheep. I've got some slabs for some details. I've got some fencing for some details. I've got some stone for detail, but mostly for buttons, just to converting into buttons. I've got some dirt for um, stacking up. And I've got some ladders to maybe just help us get in and out of some parts. So, let's get some dirt on us and some black wool. <coughs> I'm just choking here, don't worry. <coughs> I'll be fine. <coughs> It's okay, I lived. So, let's, <laughs> let's start on the wheels. Wow! Now, what I want to do is we can either make the train sit on the rails, like this. The only trouble with that is it, what, for one, it makes the train look, well, it makes the train one block higher. But number two, it doesn't look that good. I think it would be better, by the way, this is going to be a big train. This is going to be big. I think it would be better to actually break the two, uh, Stairs that are underneath each wheel and place them like that. Now that looks like the wheel is running on the track and it's sort of sitting around it, which is exactly what these are for. They're, they're meant to have the wheel sitting around it. So I think that's the best idea for it. I don't know. But we're going to have one wheel here. It's going to have 10 wheels on the train itself. One wheel here. 
and one wheel here. So that's uh, three two by two, because they'll obviously be down under here as well. Three two by two wheels on either side. Then you're going to leave three blocks, one, two, three, and you're going to do a wheel like this and take out the bottom three. So it's going to be basically a three by three wheel. Now, I don't know what I'm going to put in the middle. I might just leave it as a black wool in the middle. I might change it out to a more fancy block. Uh, an iron, a block of iron could be cool, maybe, or something like that. Who knows? Uh, but we can put, this is what I've got these buttons for. Uh, where's? Oh. <laughs> Uh, can you not, can you not, do, I haven't done crafting from my inventory for a while. I, didn't we have a crafting window here? Or have I, have I been playing too much PC recently? Is that it? Have I been playing too much PC? Or was there a crafting, I don't think there ever was a crafting window there. That might just be me playing a little bit too much PC. <laughs> Whoops. So we've got a button here to go in there. Yeah, I think it definitely needs a more unique block in there for sure but then what we're going to do is we're going to leave another three blocks one two or should i make the wheel bigger hmm we could make the wheel this big now you might be thinking wow aj that's way too big well, it might not be. It might not be. That's where the middle of the wheel used to be. But now the middle of the wheel is here. I told you this is going to be a big train. But I want a big train. I want this to look absolutely huge. There's a gate right there. I want this to be big. I really want this to be absolutely huge. Now I'm going to go with that. And then we're going to put another wheel. Not a button. They sort of look like little rocks on the floor, don't they? I sort of like that. Yeah, they look like a little rock that was sitting on the floor. I definitely need to change the middle of that, though. I don't know what to yet, but it definitely does need to change it to something. And then we'll have another one, another wheel here. One, two, three. That one. That one. That one. That one, that one. That one. And then this one. And then the bottom three as well, obviously. Okay, so we've got ten wheels in total. Five on this side, and there'll be five on the other side. Then what we want to do is we want to put down a platform, like the chassis of the train itself. And this simply runs over the top of these little wheels first. And I don't know how far forward we want to go. I don't know how far over the front wheels that we're going to go. I'm going to say for the moment, let's go three blocks just to say a number. That's a little bit too far. I'm going to say two blocks then. Two blocks sounds... a pretty decent amount luckily it looks like we've got a pretty decent scale for the track itself um it doesn't look like it's going to be too thin i think in fact i think it's going to be the perfect size track for the train which is complete luck because we built this track ages ago it wouldn't be that hard to fix if your track is a little bit different size though these don't take long to just edit they take long to build if you're doing a large area but to edit like 20 blocks isn't really that bad the only thing that i would say is that in this case it might be good to have an even number which is what i've got here one two three four i usually like to build in odd numbers because it gives you a center line and in fact mm, no it would be better to have an odd number because the thing in the middle is gonna no we're gonna stick with an i'm gonna stick with this i'm gonna stick with an even number i mean why not why why back out at the moment when we haven't hardly done any of it so we should keep going i can always change i can always move it out a little bit if it is a li if, if, if it is slightly um too small so we've got the chassis in here have i got a bed around here i think i do what we want to do now is build up build the uh tube i don't know train words the engine of the train or, or no it's the steam chamber isn't it that's what it would be it'd be the steam chamber where it goes through from inside the train uh to the uh, chimney or funnel i think it's called a funnel on a chain on a train not a chimney so let's get up here this is what we've got the dirt for look i'm getting more prepared with the building stuff i'm getting a little bit more prepared and uh, we want this probably to start 
I would say after the front wheel, maybe just after the front wheel, and we do this, this, that one and that one, that one and that one. And then if I jump down again, as you can see, we get the circle on the front. That looks very train -y. You know you're going the right way when it sort of looks like a train before you do anything. <laughs> I think we're doing okay. It's so far, so good. Uh, it's hard. I always say it's hard in survival to build something this big because you can't get a really good sort of um, vision of what it looks like from further back. It's very, very difficult. Uh, we need that one, 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 that one. Uh, oh, I'm out of black wool. I should have enough. I don't think that we're going to need much more black wool than this. I think I want to use coal blocks as well. In this, I don't have any on me, but we should have plenty at the base. Um, we've got plenty of coal there that I should be able to nab. So we want to have this one down here now there at the moment at the moment there's no real use that i've got planned for this train but as you can see it's big enough to walk through this part this is the um that steam chamber or whatever you want to call it and this is big enough to whoops, walk through which means that the main cabin of the train that's going to be located here is going to be really big well at least two blocks wide maybe even it might even end up being four blocks wide at that section i'm not 100 percent sure yet and if it does work out to be quite big it means that we have space on the inside to potentially build something or not build something inside, but use it for something is there anything that you guys think could fit inside this train so we could actually use it for a purpose rather than just an aesthetic build i don't mind it being an aesthetical build but it would be cool if it had an actual use. That would be cool. Now for this uh, chimney or funnel, whatever, we're going to build it four blocks high. One, two, three, four. And then maybe either a slab or black wool on top. The black wool could look cool or the slabs could look cool. I don't know. I'm not going to back off yet. I want to do the other ones first. They usually have two more on here. So I'm going to build one. Oops, not out of black of gray one two three four this one's going to be two blocks high and then the black on top Ooh. come back come back to me i can't reach you you you're okay you can stay over there and then this one is going to be the shortest one so we're going to have three maybe we don't need three maybe we only need two maybe that one's too high i don't know yet we need to back off and have a look so let's go over by this cactus okay yeah too big too big that one's good but i think it would be better if it was more towards the front of the um of the train i think it needs to be more towards the front maybe the whole uh chamber needs to come a little bit more forward um but i don't th i think three's too many for it i think two will look good if we back that one one block away from this one so instead of having one block between it we have two blocks between it and i think this should be extended just maybe by a couple of blocks. Where's this gate? There it is. I'm going to leave it open. Because we don't need... We're sleeping through the nights at the moment anyway. Let's get back up on here. Just a couple more blocks forward. Uh, okay, you can fill those in then. Why not? That one. Uh, one, two. One, two. One, two. I'm going to grab those because I don't have enough wool to really waste that much of i will grab that black one i think up there as well even though it is just one i don't want to run out halfway through it's just terrible when that happens isn't it okay so we've extended it forward by a couple of blocks and then if we get up here always best to use a different block to pillar up with otherwise you get really really confused now let's see i i didn't think that it would look good if the funnel was right at the front of the train but it definitely looked like it needed to be when we first when we test looked at that one and then i really i haven't got any shears on me is an axe quicker nope is a shovel quicker i was just seeing if it's slightly quicker nope Okay, I should have bought shears. I wasn't 100% prepared then. 
<laughs> there's always something, isn't there? I wonder if there's some shears at the sheep. I wonder if I have a chest there somewhere for, with them. I might do. By the time I go and get them, it would have been just quicker to break them down with your hand. Anyway, how are you guys going anyway? I haven't spoken to uh, or asked how you guys were on this series for a couple of episodes. Are you still playing Pokemon Go? That's the big question that I've got to ask. Obviously, a lot of people have been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I don't, for the, those of you that have been uh, been asking, I have answered as many as I can. I don't play it myself uh, because my phone is doesn't one doesn't allow me to download it. I've got a pretty old phone. Well, it's not actually that old. Uh, it's just um, the game doesn't want to download on it. It says that your device is not compatible. It is a little bit old, the phone. I would say probably four years old. It's still a smartphone, you know, touchscreeny business and stuff like that. But it's just a little bit old. But it does everything that I need to do. No one ever calls me or texts me because I have no friends. <laughs> so when you have no friends, you don't really need a phone. Um... <laughs> uh, but uh, my fiance, on the other hand, no, I think that I think that would be better. One block back and one block lower. My fiance, though, on the other hand, does play it, and she she's been enjoying it. I've been uh, driving her uh, around. Oops, recently to, <laughs> to try and catch these Pokemon. Um, driving her to the nearest city and uh driving her to the nearest town and wandering around i'm not there to play it because obviously i don't have it on my phone the only reason why i'm there is to make sure that she doesn't walk out into traffic and get hurt or walk into a lamppost or walk into people because she does tend to be one of these people that if she's looking at her phone that's the only thing in the whole world that she can see <laughs> there's no there's no, oh, I better look up and check to see what way sh I'm walking. No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's eyes down, catching the drowsies mostly, because that seems to be the only Pokemon that's around us. What Pokemon is around you the most? Um, around, around us, we've got tons of drowsies. Uh, but from what I've seen, that's, I like that. From what I've seen on, on videos, because I have seen a couple of uh, Pokemon Go videos of, of how it sort of works and stuff like that. Um, they they spawn in nests, so oh, oh, you do, you get Pokemon spawn in nests. Let's rephrase that. So uh, you'll get some Pokemon spawn a lot, all near each other, which will be why we have so many drowsies around us because we live at a drowsy nest. There's some people that live near Gyarados nests, which is absolutely insane. There's some people that live near. Um, I don't know, Pikachu nests. Like, each Pokemon has a type of nest, uh, but just some are rarer than others. And then you can get the Pokemon that just appear um, out of nowhere, like most of them do most of the time. Most of the Pokemon will just appear, and uh, and you'll just be able to catch them without really looking for them. But uh, do you guys play that much? How many of, of my viewers play the Pokemon Go? And... Uh, are you getting annoyed with the servers being down constantly? Loads of Pokemon. Anything about Pokemon Go, let me know, because I'm really interested to know uh, your opinion on it, your, your full opinion on it. Good or bad, it doesn't bother me. I'm not getting paid by Pokemon to mention it in the video. <laughs> but if they do see this and they would like to pay me, then I'm always open for that. No, 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 no. Okay, so, uh, train, train, uh, this one is weird, wrong. That one. That one. That one. Uh, uh, uh. And I think that's good. That looks like a good front of the train now. I'm happy with the shape. I'm happy with the size and the scale. Let's move on to the back section now. So let's pillar up. Let's make a new pillar to go up here. Now this part, I think I want the tunnel just to extend just over this front, this first big wheel. So something like that, and then we want this one as well, match it up, and then do the tunnel on top. And then we want the, hmm, we want it to go up a little bit, this one, this one, this one, and that one. I want to try and transition it nicely first into it. I don't want it to, 
just change into the square part or the the cuboid part i wanted to sort of transition in a little bit nicer and i think i wanted to go a little bit wider as well let's go onto this wheel here and what if i made it come out a little bit like that go over the top of this wheel so this whole wheel is visible how much gray have i got left i've got two on me i think i've got some more still in the chest i don't think i picked it all up did i like that Ooh. and this one grab it uh-huh why is that one do i need to have a block there i don't know we'll have to <laughs> we'll have to see when we back up i can't just fly and have a look it's so annoying okay grab it and put that there <sighs> he fell off okay and let's go to that height the block that height first so we'll go up another two blocks on either side and then i think the windows pretty much would need to start somewhere around here fill that one in fill that one in i think i'm gonna go straight across as well i might as well these ones those ones those ones it's getting night time that means we're gonna be out of time i think how long are we yeah we're nearly out well we'll keep going for a minute okay um this one this one and this one now how high do we want the windows to go do we want them to go too high or do we want them to go three high we've got to remember that there's going to be an arch over the top of this like it's gonna like arch like a, almost like a barn roof style arch so i think for the moment we probably just want to stick to two and then in the middle we might go up to three or even four have the two little side windows to be able to look out of um, not that this is it's a pretty big train for, for um, the scale of our world, but I think it's going to work OK. Now, we want to go a little bit beyond this back wheel, just a smidge. I think I want to go maybe two blocks over behind this front wheel, behind this back wheel. Let's try two and I'm out of grey wool. Aren't I? Uh, uh. Oh, I had another stack on me. Oh, I jumped down for no reason. Uh, that one and that one Get back up here. The nice thing about using dirt for scaffolding is you know when you're finished You know what you need to remove if you use a block that you're building with it makes it very difficult to know what you need to get rid of <laughs> I've done that too many times in the past too many times have I made that mistake that one that one that one I Think this should be three blocks high. I'm gonna add another one here another one here another one here and another one like that. I also think that this needs to come up. No, this does not need to come up one block high. It probably needs to go down further, if anything. Let's jump down and have a look. Okay, I've got scaffolding all in the way on this side. I can't see properly. Hey, zombie. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I... I like it. I don't like that wheel. I don't like the wheels. I think the wheels are really throwing off. Now, we don't have any detail on it. We have no buttons or trap doors or anything like that. So, it does look a little bit blank at the moment. Next episode, we shall fix that and make it not look quite as blank. But I think, although it's big, it's a big train. But I wanted a big train. I didn't want a small train. I do want it to be big and stand out and uh, be eye-catching. I think we're doing all right. I think we're doing all right. Next episode, we shall hopefully finish off the train. Maybe not the carriages, but at least the train will be finished off. I would like to do at least one carriage behind it. I want to have a coal one behind it. Uh, that is maybe, you know, powering the train or potentially collecting and powering the train. Collecting it from the mine to power the train. Or maybe we can have two. We can have one coal one and then another one behind it as well. We probably have room for that. Either way, if you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye!